The history of Newark's ironbound neighborhood was wrought during the industrial boom of the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Huge factories were built employing tens of thousands of residents whose homes were also built right next to those factories. These employment opportunities were a magnet for those eager to work from around the globe. Generations of immigrants traveled to our neighborhood from Germany, Italy, Portugal, Brazil, and Ecuador, to name just a few, as well as African Americans from the southern states who traveled north for the same work. Ironically, this economic need which created the neighborhood's greatest quality, its awesome cultural diversity, also created its gravest dilemma, the contamination of its land. Today, the people of the neighborhood, community groups, the local government, and business leaders have come together to identify contamination sites within the Ironbound and enact cleanup programs to return the land to its people. The following are a few examples of this cleanup process. In February of 2013, the Newark Housing Authority closed the Terrell Homes Playground, a frequently used public space located near a high concentration of residential apartments. This was due to tests performed that showed high levels of lead contamination in the surface soil. The numbers showed 15 times the amount of lead the Environmental Protection Agency allows for children's play areas. Experts believe that there is no safe level of lead exposure. It is a cumulative poison because it builds up over time. In children, lead can lead to serious health complications including anemia and harming brain development. The Housing Authority removed slides, swings, and other playground equipment. Through a partnership created with the state's EPA department, plans are being prepared to clean up the site and return it to the residents of the public housing complex. In the summer of 2012, there was a groundbreaking for the Morris Lister Warehouse and Distribution Center project. This was the former site of the Sherwin-Williams Paint Company, which dates back to 1910. After leaving the site contaminated, the land was unusable for decades. Sherwin-Williams initiated a cleanup project in the late 1990s, but the site remained vacant. Today, in a partnership between Councilman Amador, the Brick City Development Corporation, the Morris Companies, and the New Jersey Environmental Infrastructure Trust, the land is being cleaned again and the construction of a 350,000 square foot warehouse distribution center will be built. This project will bring more than 400 construction jobs and over 200 permanent jobs to Newark. Another contaminated site that has been cleaned up and has a substantial renovation plan in place is Hayes Park East. The $7 million initiative, located between Ferry Street and Raymond Boulevard on Waydell Street, will include an outdoor swimming pool, indoor soccer court, and a playground. And thanks to a $110,000 donation from the Rob Deerdeck Foundation, it will also have a brand new skate park that will feature course obstacles, ramps, and rails for the Ironbound skateboarding enthusiasts. Formerly the final resting place for empty port containers from overseas, Riverfront Park has been transformed into a recreational space. It includes a soccer field, a baseball field with a synthetic grass surface, tennis and basketball courts, a passive meadow, walking paths, and two playground areas. This was realized by the state, Essex County, the Essex County Improvement Authority, the City of Newark, the Ironbound Community Corporation, and residents. The former site of the Salinese Plastics Factory, Ironbound Stadium was converted into athletic facilities for local sports teams and the public schools. When digging began for construction of a new pool in the early 1980s, high levels of PBCs and other phenols were discovered. It was listed as a Superfund site. Hoches Salinese Corporation, the pharmaceutical giant and owner of the company that polluted the recreation site, has engaged in conversations with the city to remediate the entire area. Once the area is cleaned up, a new stadium will be built for Eastside High School and the community. Newark's Ironbound neighborhood has one of the lowest green space to population ratio in New Jersey. Initiatives like the ones mentioned here are an integral part of the growth of our community, economic health, and general well-being of our population. Projects like these are important steps forward to maintain Ironbound's reputation as a cultural powerhouse, a location for vibrant commerce, 
and an amazing place to live.